Yeah, that adjusts a little bit. There we go. Hello, my name is Martin Valor. Uh, if you don't know me, uh, I am very into old kind of technology. I love records, I love old Polaroid cameras, everything. Uh, I did a video a while ago talking about my favorite records and stuff. And, well, I don't think I really did a good job on it, because I didn't want to do all of them. Two, my record collection got a lot bigger shortly after the video, and, I, and it was kind of hard to do a part two. So I'm just going to start over part one again. Uh, I have two crates right behind me uh, over here. I'm not going to show you it, but one of them has older records. Uh, one's from the 60s and 70s and, and 80s and stuff, and uh, I also has all my 7 inches in them. The other one has all the newer stuff, the stuff I listen to more, so the stuff I listen to now. And because of that, I'm going to do probably three or four parts. Uh, I'm going to go, go more in depth with the other albums, but this is just a list of the ones I kind of bargain, because I'm greedy as fuck. Okay. I have a couple over here only because these this doesn't fit my collection. Uh, my first one I'm going to show you guys is actually kind of one of my favorites, but I, sadly I can't play it. Uh, this is Bing Crosby, Going My Way. And uh, I can't play these only because uh, they play at 78 rounds per minute, and I don't have a record player anymore that plays that. My one that, that could have played and it broke. Uh, along with these, I have a, like a box, not a box, like a booklet of all these uh, old 7 inches. Some of them are Greek because that's where my, cause that's where my grandparents are from, are from, they're from Greece. And some of them are just like kind of Frank Sinatra-ish kind of records. I, I did manage to play most of them, uh, but now I can't. So, and I also have a uh, second one I'm going to show you is this one. Uh, this one's a really weird one. It's called Beetle Rama, and it's supposed to be a Beatles ripoff CD. It has "I Want to Hold Your Hand," "She Loves You." Uh, it's <laughs> it's a really weird one. Uh, I, uh, for a while, I was trying to find it online. I couldn't find it online. So obviously, it's either very rare and nobody knows about it, or if, it, or no, everyone forgot about it and it fades to obscurity. Okay, I'm actually going to show you the old uh, thingy. Uh, this is the first bin which, which has all my classic rock records, and the one to the right of that, near my arm, is where all the newer ones are. So that's this is going to tell you how big my record collection has gotten. It's over 60 now. I can't really put that into one part, and I don't feel comfortable putting that into one part. So we're gonna start with the with the first crate, which has my uh, older records in them. Okay. Now, if you know me personally, I go to a lot of thrift stores. I go to uh, record stores almost every every month, basically, and uh, I find some interesting things. This was a, my first really interesting find: the Beethoven con uh, Concerto. Um, and this is honestly very pretty. I'm very uneducated, uneducated with uh, classical music, but this is very pretty, and I enjoy listening to this record a lot. It's P uh, Beethoven's Q P Piano Concerto Number no. Three, so you can look it up on, on your free time. Next, uh, we have a classic album that everybody should really know. Uh, this is The Beatles' Happy Road. Uh, I got this at Hot Topic, I think. And I don't really go there any anymore. I used to go there when I was like in middle school, but I don't go there anymore. But one day I did take a trip to Hot Topic to kind of nostalgia, and I found this. And this, everybody should listen to this record. Everybody. I don't care who you are. It's kind of modern culture. Next, um, I got is uh, Blondie Eat to the Beat. Uh, first pressing back in 1979. This is. A, well, this is, well, this is a gift that I've gotten from my friend's mom. Uh, she gave me a couple other ones, too. Just had them lying around. Sorry to give some away. I thank you for that. I haven't played it, only because I'm not a huge Blondie fan, but one day I will get around to it. With records in, in a collection where this, this is, these are the ones I listen to, the kind of ones I, you know, collect, uh, you can have some weird ones, like uh, Blurred Lives, uh, have a holly jolly Christmas. I have another really obscure gem. Like I have a Chickmunk uh, album, Chickmunks thing on vinyl. But I don't know where that is, so it's not in my collection. So I technically don't have it. But good for Christmas, I will say. It it, it definitely lightens up the mood. 
Uh, next on my list, we have uh, the best of Bill Cosby. Uh, I have another comedy record, and this one I actually do listen to sometimes, because Bill Cosby is hilarious. But I feel like everybody who I associate this with has a Bill Cosby record, or or this one actually. A lot of people have this one, and it's like a great hits, you know, the best of. Good record though. Here's one funny dude. Uh, what's this one? Oh. And a lot of, sometimes, when you go to a record store, at least, not not really, but <laughs> what did I go do? Sells free ones. It's outside, like, in a mini crate, like the ones that nobody knows when nobody would buy. So you pick them up, you listen to them, you see what is it, and you see what they are. Uh, I don't know what this guy's name was, but I read the back, and apparently he was uh, one of the first people to combine rock and roll and country. Uh, this is an, an instrumental album. It's not that bad. Especially that it says two bucks. It's definitely worth two bucks. It's worth probably around five bucks. And there's another one uh, that I got same same day. I don't know who this guy is, but if you know who that guy is, tell me a little about. It. And I haven't even played this, so I don't have no intentions to anytime soon. Another one of the records that Mama Daily, thank you, uh, is Deep Purple, Made in Japan. Uh, this is a live album from the Classic Rock with Deep Purple. Hopefully you know who they are. Uh, this is very, really, really good sounding. And the, and the, the inside is kind of kind of cool. It's just a sun. Like that. Uh, this is a first... No, I don't even know what pressing this is. It's in, it's in very, very beat up condition, but it plays flawlessly, actually. A lot of my records play flawlessly. Actually, all of them do. Another free one that I got from Burger Brothers Over Kings Park was uh, Dueling Banjos. Thank you, Aiden, for bringing this record to my attention. Not bad. It's a classic uh, bluegrass record. Uh, next is Carcass by Emerson Lake and Palmer. If you want to get into progressive rock, I definitely recommend uh, with this album. Especially that, that the whole song, Carcass, on the first side is a flawless uh, song. Uh, the other side really, really, really has really interesting art. I really like it. It's a good record. It's one of the first records I bought by myself at Mr. Cheapos. Um, next is a record that was actually passed down to me from my grandfather. He was a huge Frank Sinatra fan, and I have two Frank Sinatra records in basically perfect condition, uh, and they're all first pressings too. I'm definitely sure they're first pressings. Uh, this is Come Dance With Me with Billy May and his orchestra. Uh, it's a classic classic record. This is from 50, 59, I think? It doesn't even say. I probably, it's probably around. It doesn't even say. It says on the sleeve, I think. But I don't want to get that out. And, uh, the other Sinatra record I have is Frank Sinatra and Strings. Uh, definitely a classic guy. I highly recommend getting to Frank Sinatra. At least listen to a couple, you know, at least a couple of his songs. You don't have to listen to a whole album. But, uh, this is another obscure gem that I got. I got this kind of as a joke because, uh, you know the song Hocus Pocus by Focus? Yeah, I have that on vinyl. <laughs> and it's definitely a, uh, a great find. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite things in my collection. Next is something I got at a thrift store for a dollar. Uh, if you like Fleetwood Mac, this is one of the later albums, Rumors. No, not Rumors. F uh, ignore me, sorry. Um, Marriage? I don't know. I'm not a huge Fleetwood Mac fan. I feel that this is one of their leader albums. 1982. Uh, someone can definitely tell me what's the best song album. I will try to get into it. Next is one of my favorite classic albums. Uh, I love Frank Zappa. Definitely getting more of his records soon. This is Overnight Sensation. Uh, Frank Zappa is, is the perfect artist to get into if you're looking for something new. Is there an inside thing? Yes, there is. I have to show it to you now. Sinatra is definitely one of the best artists, you know, avant-garde artists at the time. It's like, I guess this is his, was his band and stuff. It's a very interesting album. Uh, if you want to get into, like, avant-garde, uh, kind of stuff that's different but not hard to listen to, Frank Zappa is definitely the best way to go with that, in my opinion. And then you can get to his weirder stuff. And uh, He did work with the London Symphonic Symphony Orchestra. I'm gonna check that out. So apparently everything is in one take. I'll, I'll make a video on that like one time. I'm clocking in. Okay, still going. Uh, this is George Carlin, A Place for My Stuff. 
Uh, if you don't know who George Carlin is, he was one of the most, uh, he's definitely one of the best comedians of all time. But, uh, if you don't, if you're heavy, heavily religious and get offended easily, don't. If you're me, who's an atheist and loves that kind of humor, go for it. Uh, really good scared place for my stuff. Next is another classic band, The Grateful Dead. Uh, this is a live album, so your face, and, right, you know, I got that right. And it's, it's a really great live album. Actually, Grateful Dead was one of the first bands that actually really got on vinyl. Uh, this one was around eight bucks. And the next one was actually the first record I've ever gotten with Working Man's Dead, The Grateful Dead. Uh, I got this at, actually, my mom got this for me at Urban Outfitters. Wondering why that was at Urban Outfitters. Uh, next we have Jethro Tull, Thick as a Brick, another gift from Mama Daly. It was in mint condition, but I did kind of screw up. That, but that's okay, the record plays, and I'm not going to sell my records, I don't care if they're in, you know, perfect condition or not. It's like a newspaper, it looks like, like a newspaper, it's just a great, great album. This was a really great band, they stand out from the most classic rock bands for me, that's why I like Frank Zappa a lot too. Next we have Bad Gypsies by Jimi Hendrix. Uh, this is a live album, I'm pretty sure. Uh, one of the first gifts from my dad. Because me and my dad don't talk too much. We haven't seen each other in a long time. Uh, so when I was like around 13 or 14, he sent me those albums. He also sent me Blood Zeppelin 2, which is actually conveniently right here. And the inside is actually really cool. Uh, this is a classic, classic rock album. But uh, not a huge Zeppelin fan anymore. Too much played version of Conspiracies. Uh, next on our list, we have another obscure gem. Uh, my Fair Lady, the soundtrack, which is apparently an ultrasound, high definition, actually a high fidelity recording from Tops, which is kind of interesting. Uh, this is a 10th anniversary golden reissue. I don't know why they had the reissue soundtrack to a play. Maybe it was really big during the time. Not an expert on that. Next, we have another Christmas album. Thank you, Aiden. Uh, Pat, blah, 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 White Christmas. Uh, they're really convenient during Christmas time, I think. Uh, it's a charm to vinyl that CDs and stuff just don't have. At least I don't perceive it as that way. Uh, this is a classic progressive rock album, Pink Floyd Animals. I know Pink Floyd has a huge cult following where I live. I can get annoying. But uh, this is probably one of my favorite uh, albums by Pink Floyd. Uh, I definitely do want... Uh, you know, there are other stuff, but I'm broke now. Gotta pull up the camera. Uh, I got another Pink Floyd album. I had two copies of this album. I actually gave one of them away to a good friend. Uh, this is the other one that I got as a gift, actually. Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here. This is an old reinish. This is an old issue. I don't know what pressing that this one is, but it doesn't really matter. As long as you like the record, you should get it. Uh, next is another one I got for a thrift store for a buck, uh, Run DMC's Thick as Leather? Tougher than leather. It's close. Uh, you're gonna see me screw up with the names of some of my records, because a lot of these I, I don't, some of these are, a lot of them were gifts, uh, a lot of them were just passed down. Yeah, this is definitely a hip-hop record. Okay, I have a couple more. I'm almost done. Don't worry. I'm gonna take them out, so I have to lean towards there. Uh, a lot longer than I thought the video would turn out. But, Stevie Wonder, uh, hotter than something. Not a Stevie Wonder fan. Like him a lot, but never really got into his music. Oh, uh, this has my favorite Stevie Wonder song, Master Blaster, which is a fun song to play on bass guitar. Very fun. And you can play on upright bass, then you're really, really good. Uh, this is Fragile by Yes. And yes, all the other of rock is a huge cult following where I live. Um, no, the inside isn't really that pretty, but the back is a very, very pretty uh, picture. Uh, classic. I mean, roundabout is a classic press rock song. I mean, where you're not going wrong with the X. And lastly, sorry that this is so long, but here is Close to the Edge by Yes. And 
Uh, this is another classic progressive album. Uh, I don't like the, the term progressive that much, but Close to the Edge is probably my favorite Yes record. It's Close to the Edge is that 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 whole song, which takes the whole which takes side one, is a classic. It's awesome. And well, that's not even half of my records, but. I will make a part two. Thank you for being patient and, and, and watching this whole video. Um, next video would be would will be on my seven inches, and then uh, I, I might turn the other pile into part one, part two. So that's four parts, and I will keep updating. I'm out. Thank you for everything.